Hey guys, it's 603 Bass. Just to give you a heads up before we get into the video, I messed up my audio settings with my digital audio recorder during this outing. And normally when this happens, I just scrap the footage and move on. However, given that I've had such an awful spring, the outing before this was atrocious, and before that it just wasn't any better, you kind of get the gist of what I'm doing here. I decided I still really wanted to use this because this was during the week last week, and I actually really had a good day. It wasn't crazy for numbers or quality, but all in all, I felt that it was a much better day than what I've been having recently, and I still wanted to show it because the bass were exactly where I thought they were, eating exactly what I thought they would and doing exactly what I thought they would be doing. So one of those very, very rare times so far this season where I went out and found exactly what it was I was hoping and looking for. So my apologies for the audio quality. I had the input volume jacked up, <laughs> pretty much maxed out on this thing. So the volume just sounds really, really funky. But all in all, I still think it's a good video. So hope you guys enjoy it. And don't worry, I've got the audio sorted for the next videos. Oh, there we go. Stopped dead in his track. I thought I hit a rock. That didn't take long. Don't be a pickle. That's a pass. Oh, it happened so quick, too. About damn time. Right where they should be. And hitting what they want. About time. I don't care how small it is. He is exactly where he's supposed to be. Hitting exactly what you would expect them to hit. In the exact right areas. Little bass. Doesn't matter. Z-Man Chatterbait with a Berkeley trailer, like three and a half inch, all black and blue. Get the job done. I'm looking for the pre-spawners. I haven't quite moved up yet, but they're damn close. The very, very late stagers. Water temp, what did I see? 66.8. There should be loads of beds and loads of fish in pre-spawn. And that's what we're chasing. We're chasing the pre-spawners are still out. If I can find a bed fish or two, I'll happily take that. Mission accomplished though, one fish in the boat. That's all I cared about doing today. Just want to catch at least one. Yeah, there's a ruckus going on over there. Up in the shallows. With the angle of the sun, I got here too late. Uh, and the thin cloud cover, I'm, I'm not gonna be able to see any beds. I'm just gonna have to get lucky and hope I know. I just get lucky and hope I land on one. Water's getting warmer at 69. I expect them to be up. I don't think they're gonna be really out here that much. They may not be locked on beds, but I think they're gonna be further in than they will be out here. What a thump. Not even that big, what a thump. Right off the rock. Two, two, number two, whoops, Yamato flapping hog, probably can't see that because it's right in the sun, that was a good solid thump out of it too and he's right off that rock, the meal okay you fire right back in there for that female jig there's the ticket I don't know if it was actually the ticket or if it was just this guy because he was so aggressive okay Black and blue, eco tungsten, three eighths, three and a half inch trigger craw, chigger craw. Okay. Big sunfish, oh my God. That thing's a monster. It's a friggin' meal and a half. There we go. Be a bass this time? On the Miyagi. Told you they were in there. Didn't even have to really set the hook on him. Well, let me fix this. <laughs> so you can see what the hell it is I'm doing. 
Oh, I can't figure it out. Yeah, whatever. Getting eaten alive. Beast Coast Miyagi. It's good stuff. Oh, I see you. Bed right there with the bass on it. <laughs> with the Miyagi! Dude, he inhaled this. Inhaled it. <laughs> He's a little guy, but he ate it. <laughs> oh, good stuff. I just saw him swim off it, so I threw it right back on and kind of crawled it past. I think this is the dope gill. I forget the exact color. But I mean, he just choked that. That was good stuff. Oh, throw a little bit more water, bud, on the camera. Come on. Well, this is gonna be it. Fish the bridge, and then gotta get out of here. I want to get back as close to the boat launch as I can before full on dark. It's already 7:40, so I probably got maybe 15 minutes to fish. Someone's home. And he saw that land and he wanted it. Oh yeah, dude, what is that? Better a rock. Don't be a pickerel this time, please. That's a bass. Told you he was home. Finally, we got some fight and some size to it. Oh, ooh, that feels good. Dude, he's just head and shoulders down and going. And the thing is, he's not that big. He's three something, maybe. Boat flip. <laughs> Maybe three. It's good. It's good though. It's real good. Feels good to get that. <laughs> uh, today was a good day. Today was a real good day. I got a fish. Whew, thought it was gonna be a big in the amount of slack I had in there. Oh, long distance release. It's alright, still counts. Got it, got it right next to the boat. I'll count it. I think that's number seven. Jesus. I'm surprised I even got him that far in. I barely got a hook set on him. Alright, that's gonna wrap it up. Oh. Not a great day numbers wise or quality wise, but honestly, given the spring that I've had, that was pretty good. Now I said at the beginning, I just was gonna come here and just fish and that was my plan. And I was hoping I could find some sort of pattern to put together. They're in the spawn, but not really. They're halfway between pre-spawn and spawn. Yesterday it was cold and rainy. So thankfully I didn't have to fish in cold rain front yet again, but it definitely slowed things down. I actually know two guys came here yesterday and they got skunked, so that kind of makes sense. And the fact that the fish weren't completely committed to their beds and all the beds I saw weren't like perfectly made either. So I would say we're about a week off from it just being bed city here. So if that's your thing, like it's going to be good uh, all around Southern New Hampshire. I'm sure there's some places that are already on fire, but some of these places that have been, you know, really impacted by the huge temperature swings, um, you know, it's a little behind just a wee bit so actually ended up working out pretty well um you know we got him on a chatterbait which was good i got a couple on the swim bait had a lot of misses had a lot of pickerel a couple on the jig you know just all in all it was good they were up tight to shore i mean tight that the last two i pulled off of the shore and all my other bites came within five feet of the shore i think that was the, the, the very first one was kind of out in the middle and he was probably like well i say the middle 20 feet from shore so i'm glad i put something together and i'm, I'm glad i finally got like into a good day in the sense that 
I thought this is where they would be. I thought that's what they would eat, and that's exactly where they were. So not bad. I made the most out of the three hours I had. Pretty good day. So thank you for watching. Greatly appreciate it. If you don't mind, like, subscribe. I rarely ask, but I'm going to ask this time. Thanks for watching, guys. Catch you next week.